Happy New Week, everyone. This is the weather forecast for Longmont, covering Monday through Thursday, March 23rd to 26th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. The new moon occurs Tuesday, March 24th, so it'll be uh, in the vicinity of the sun for that whole day uh, behind the blue sky. So rising and setting about the same as the sun. Nothing to see here. So let's get to the weather for... This week, we are definitely enjoying spring-like temperatures, and it is spring, so enjoy the spring. Uh, I'm looking out further into the models to see if there's any chance that we have another shot of winter, and climatologically, we certainly can get snow in April and May, and we've even had snow as, as late as early June, a uh, little bit, so it's probably not over, but in the short term and me me medium range, I don't see it. We have high pressure starting out this week with a storm system down here in California. It's kind of a mirror of the last system that gave us all the snow and rain, but it's vastly weaker and it's moving pretty quickly. So won't be as much of a thing at all. So as Monday morning, uh, when I'm recording this, uh, comes by. We have this little trough sitting down here in Nevada, Central California. This little piece of energy here will break off and zip by the state today. By late night Monday into Tuesday morning, you can see that the system is here. A low kind of consolidated to the uh, east of the mountains and is sliding quickly off into the plains. And there's mountain moisture and snow going out there. Not a lot in the way of uh, rain or precipitation down on the plains, but there'll be a little. You can see in the 10-day uh, ensemble, this Monday night, Tuesday morning chance of rain is in pretty good agreement between all the different runs of the GFS, but there's no snow. Temperatures here are all above freezing this blue line across here. We'll get to this next system at the end of the week shortly. <clears throat> so by Wednesday, we have that trough that was out there, the southern part of it remained behind, uh, kind of connects with another ripple in the flow aloft uh, in the northern jet, making one kind of bigger trough. And that's going to start heading uh, to the east. And because it is uh, a larger feature, it's going to go a little slower. It's got this ridge that was keeping us warm throughout the early part of the week, uh, slowly pushing off to the east. So this one's going to hang around a little longer as it passes. For the five day though, the snow going through the uh, end of the week is not very impressive. It's up in the mountains mainly. There's some places in the six to 10 inch range and in, in favorable locations, but most of the mountains are only getting a few inches and there may be a dusting down in Boulder and the western suburbs of Longmont and hygiene and like that. For rainfall, uh, not very exciting either. We've got uh, some local areas of up to an inch, an inch and a half or so up here in the northern mountains. Down here we're generally around a tenth to under a quarter of an inch of water. So putting the whole week together, we've got 50s and 60s for the beginning of the week with our little chance of afternoon overnight uh, precipitation Monday into Tuesday. Really nice weather. After that, Thursday and Friday, some rain chances uh, it won't be all the time and it won't be very much but uh, it'll be cloudy you'll smell that spring moisture in the air and it'll be kind of nice we cool to the 50s and just barely below freezing at night into the weekend we start to crawl back up towards the 60s with sunny skies again for more local news take a look at the longmont observer at longmontobserver.org and their more frequent text updates and graphics uh, for the weather uh, that I post as conditions warrant. For Longmont Public Media, this is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.